All right, everyone, welcome to Street City Studio. I'm Rebel Commander John, and I'm here today with my good friend, the Wampa. Uh, we were expecting some snow today, but it's it's raining instead, so uh, I think we were kind of hoping for the snow and excited for some snow and disappointed that it's not here. So, in that... In that uh, in that theme, I kind of was inspired to do a hoth shoot today. And uh, I really wanted to take advantage of some of this depth right, that my new setup allows for. And so we can pull back and get a lot more depth. Uh, and so that's what I'm hoping to do here. Um, I got... I got these Hoth backgrounds from Cardboard Galaxy. And I thought these would be perfect for this. This is exactly what I got them for, right? Uh, and I was playing with this setup and running it through my head already, trying to kind of establish everything and how I was going to set it up. So, I haven't done all the setup yet, but I, I did start with some of these boxes to stand on and getting everything set up. I, uh, I had the idea to use this light bar here. I'm going to drop it in here and you can see. Right? And really make that snow glow, right? Make it pop. Get it positioned just right here. There, that should be good, right? It really, really makes that snow pop. Uh, and I've done, I've done some hoth shoots before, uh, so I kind of want to try a slightly different perspective with maybe, maybe the wampa close to the camera, right? Make, make the wampa the subject instead of. Uh, Luke and his Tauntaun, and that's kind of what I did before, right? I had Luke and his Tauntaun as the main focus, and I, I just popped Luke's head back on because that was, I had my head on Luke there, but uh, I figure I'll drop Luke in the background more instead of up front, right? Like that. Wampa stalking him. Stalking him from a distance, right? And that's kind of the idea. Something like that, right? But no, I'm getting ahead of myself, too. Uh, a couple things I forgot. I forgot to put my floor piece in. Right? And I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if I was going to include this, but I'm going to try it. Now that I'm looking at my screen and stuff, I can see, right? I've got some snowy floor piece here. Get that light in good. Right. Now we can drop Luke in there, right? Now... I can't say it enough, uh, no matter how many new figures I get, I've had this figure, this Wampa figure, this is the uh, Force Link, I believe, right, the Force Link Wampa, and his arm pulls off, right, and for me, man, that's, that's a perfect place for that gimmick, it's the perfect gimmick for this figure, uh, but not just that, I wanted to talk a little bit too while we're here talking about Hoth and and the Star Wars, right? I am a fan of how they introduced, right? I, I grew up, I, I always wanted to see more of the Wampa. In those scenes, I always, I always wanted more. And so I know some people aren't a big fan of the changes they've made. 
but that's one of the changes that, and even me, me, I, I, I'd like to say there are changes that I am not a fan of, right? Like the who shot first and some of that, right? Uh, Jabba in the, in the hangar on Tatooine confronting uh, Han Solo. I didn't like that scene at all. Uh, but the Wampa edition, I was really happy with. I like the addition of the Wampa. I'm a big fan of creature features. I grew up in that era, right, where creature features and monsters and anim funny animals, even like like the Tauntauns, right? It was it was kind of I think it was an era where you know like even horror movies and stuff, sci-fi movies. Right, sometimes they were based solely on how cool the monsters were, more so than, you know, the plot or the story or, you know, how good the actors were, how big the budgets were. But if they could pull off a cool concept, like cool creature ideas, monsters, that was always good. And even even in the originals before they before they really showed us the Wampa, you know, he was still, you could call him a low-budget monster, I guess, right? He still caught people's interest, right? Even before we saw much of him. But I'm a, I'm a big fan of the addition, especially considering, you know, the movies. I, I do wish we could get our hands on the originals, don't get me wrong, but... Uh, 20, especially 20 years later, why not show us more Wampa, right? He doesn't have to remain a mystery 20 years later, you know? But, uh, uh, we'll get back to the photo shoot here. Uh, something I had thought about before uh, I had start setting anything up and doing any of this was, was how flat uh, this floor is going to look. And I was worried about that before we even start, right? That was on my mind. Uh, and so something I decided to do was find some snow. I started looking around thinking, what can I use for some snow? And what I ended up doing was uh, tearing up this cardboard cup here. And not even the whole cup. Like, like you see, now, maybe half. Uh, and I got... I got some uh, styrofoam snow here that I'm going to basically just dump out here, right? And now you should be, if you guys get into doing this, uh, I'll give you the heads up. Be careful. This stuff gets some static to it, and it'll start sticking to everything. And, and you, you don't want that. Uh, now, I thought about using more than one backdrop, but I don't think we're going to need it for this, right? Because uh, I'm not looking for a wide shot or anything. Uh, I'm just looking for that depth. Right? And I think we can achieve that just, just like that. Right? And like I said, uh, I'm going to move this. That's not just going to stay in a pile like that. But I'm kind of... I think I'm gonna push this back a little bit to give more depth, more distance. Okay. Just like that. Maybe even have him uh, like he's cutting that way. So he's not coming so straight on like he's running right at the Wampa. You don't want him coming straight at the Wampa. That would seem too obvious, like he should have noticed. <laughs> yeah, I like how bright that snow's looking, though. Uh, especially, like, you know, in the background, background, not the front snow, I guess. But the front snow's not looking bad, either. Well, like I said, I kind of spread this around. One of the things I was thinking is that I wanted his feet to look a little sunk into the snow, right? Not just like he's flat up on the top of a table. And so, uh, I kind of want to get it around his feet, right? 
back and in around or on top, even, right? Kind of spread it out so it doesn't look like uh, anything too particular, right? Keep it kind of nondescript and broke up in no particular order. See how it's coming? That doesn't look bad at all. Some of this, some of this is getting off camera behind the wampa and off off screen. I don't need it way over there. I can pull it back in and help fill out some of these other areas too. That's looking pretty cool, except for a couple little patches up front here, I guess. That is working pretty good, though. I like the look of it and the texture of it. You just gotta, like I said, break it up enough so that it's nondescript. You don't want it looking like uh, perfect squares or... Uh, Whatever, you know, you want it broke up real random and rough. I had tiny pieces, some bigger pieces. Just try and make it real random, you know. I think some of this can come forward. out better yeah that helped that helped a lot I think get him back in focus here if we can uh, it wants to focus on Luke back there because he's so well lit okay. but I don't want to backlight him too much because all that looks like the light's supposed to be coming this way so I do want shadow on his back here right. but I can there we go I can force it and I almost feel like he could be a little hotter a little whiter Maybe bring in another light I can do that I just don't want to create shadows on my uh, background and stuff, you know. That's not terrible, huh? But I'm holding it. That's the problem. I gotta sit here and hold it. That does look pretty sweet, though. That's uh, that's pretty much what I'm going for. I might play with his position here a little bit. Right, I kind of want him visible, uh, but that's always the problem, right? I don't like putting their backs to the camera, but sometimes that's kind of what I'm going for, right? Let me see if I can get him reaching or something. Get his hand up in there. Oh, I like that spot right there. You can kind of see his hand, right? Mm -hmm. It cuts that other one off, though. Maybe like right there. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Right? Just crap that out so that there's, you know, it's contained. Let's see. Reposition a little bit higher so his head's not out of the frame here. Right? Oh no, he's got to reach. 
refocus. Relight. Because I'm holding this light by with my hand, I gotta re readjust. But there we go. That snow is looking real bright and hot. Even this light glaring off in the top corner just kind of looks like the sun coming through, right? Over, over here in this corner right there, see? But if I go a little further off, it's gone. It's just blue. Right. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's real fun. Like he's stalking his prey. Oh, maybe over here. I feel like that washes it out too much back here, though. Hides them shadows. Right. Some of them shadows come through nice without this light, but then when I bring that light in, all them shadows are gone. Oh, maybe if I... Yeah. See, that's why I'm playing with it. So I can keep the shadows at the right angle. I can keep the shadows on the snow. And get his back lit up real well. See, in the wrong spot, he tends to look a little yellow or green, I guess. I want him as white as possible, as, as washed out by the light as possible. Because he does have some, he does have some yellow to his fur. Especially on his hands and feet and chest. I don't know how well you can see that. And right, right below his mouth, right, his chin. There's a lot of yellow going on. Some yellow tints and whatever. I really do want to see his face, but he doesn't feel like he's stalking him as much. That's not bad right there. What's going on with that? Oh, he's too close. That's not bad, though. I wish I had more animals I could throw in here, but anything I throw in there is not going to make much sense with the scene. Right? I thought about throwing in some dinosaurs or some little, little critters or something, but I don't know that that would make a lot of sense. I even thought about giving him uh, some sort of prop, like a piece of meat or something, but he doesn't have uh, good holding hands. and probably just be a wasted effort keep it simple right keep it simple that's what they tell me <laughs> I think that's working real good though I wasn't sure how that snow my styrofoam snow was going to come out. Let me see if we change this focus to Luke. Yeah, no, that just doesn't look as interesting. The snow's cool. The backdrop and the snow mountain, that little snow ridge, it all looks real cool. But it's just not as interesting looking. I think being focused on him, like I said, with all that kind of blurred and... I don't even want to say blurred is the best, but it really does look like there's some distance. Right? And especially if I can get a lot of him in focus. Where did I put that light? There you put that light down. There. Something like that. 
I want to get a lot of him in focus. Get a lot of him in frame. Looks like he's on the hunt. I think he's about to strike, I guess. That is really cool, though. I like that. Uh, I like that glowing snow effect that that extra light's created back there. Because it really does, man. If you, uh, if you hold on, I'll take it out and you can see what it looks like. Okay. The difference here. Oh, I feel like this is going to fall. Yeah, see? See now without it. See how flat that looks? It doesn't look terrible, but it just doesn't pop the same, you know? Put that back in. And it really looks like a bright, snowy day. And not just that, but I think it really does look deeper. It looks like that background... It doesn't just look like a backdrop. It adds some realism, I guess. And again, I don't I don't want all of my picture out of focus. That was kind of the point is he's the subject, right? Maybe if I, uh, oh, there we go. But then I gotta spread, then I gotta re-spread re that snow because there's a lot of gaps over here and it, it just looks like, uh, looks like it cuts clean off. All right, so I kind of need him blocking that or I need to reposition all that. That does look cool though. I'll probably call it good and wrap it up, I guess. Probably got enough to call it a video, call it a photo shoot. I'll uh, go back through that and see which ones are my favorite positions and favorite angle. Oh, his foot doesn't want to cooperate. We'll see which ones I like the best because I definitely don't know. <laughs> Not off the top of my head yet. Right? Played with him a little bit. I'll go back through and see. Well, I, th I think that's the best, like right there somewhere. Alright, but as usual, guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me. Uh, if you want to check me out on Facebook, you can follow me on Facebook. Uh, John Wayna, W-A-Y-N-A. -A. Uh, but be sure to follow me and not my dad. Uh, my dad is also John Wayna. Uh, <laughs> um, what else? Oh, you can check out my photography on Instagram. It's Street City Toys. Uh, not Street City Studio like the channel here, but Street City Toys. Uh Otherwise, I appreciate you guys coming by and hanging out with me. You guys have a great rest of your day, and uh, keep playing with them toys. Talk to you again real soon.